So I haven't been making videos in a while and haven't been forging as much, so I figured it'd be good to get back to basics. So I wanna try the absolute beginning of just going from round to square and square to round. So I wanna do some basic practice. I wanna figure out how small this is gonna get if I go from round stock to square stock by forging. So right now it's half inch round and I'm just going to try to do an even transition into square. effectively square. Right, so I'd say maybe three eighths. A little hair, a hair bigger than three eighths. It's a beauty. So effectively square, but we still have these big facets on the corners. Are you gonna leave it like that? No, I'm gonna try to take it down to sharp and square on the corners and see how much smaller it goes from that little step. Okay. Yeah, so this will, we'll see. crisp up the corners of the square forging, I'm going to rotate a lot more frequently, trying to pack it in its center and make it even and not rectangular. Uh, when I first started, I, I do a lot on one side and then turn it, but this won't be like every hit, I'm gonna rotate. have a little facet here that's a pretty crisp line a little facet there let's see how small it got yeah, it's pretty much three eighths so we lost an eighth half inch round to three eighths square So I'm gonna take a final low heat and switch to a lighter hammer. And I'm gonna clean up the hammer strikes on it and then try to make it as even as I can, just the final squaring up.
right, so with the last heat, I didn't really try to change its shape. I just wanted to flannish it and really crisp it up. square. 